It's a binge compilation. Okay, bye. Hey, y'all, is it normal to make sound effects under your breath during your day-to-day life, or is my neurodiverging? Well, I'm writing down the words neurodiverging. I want to see a full-blown Sith fight because somebody put a kazoo in Das Rebreather Mask. Please, it would be so good. Sneakily replaces your big text with text that looks like this. Hmm, something's off about this. Oh no, it's the ye old English nader text. From now on, I will be posting in big text, so watch out. I have stepped on 30 Tumblr users and hospitalized five. I could not see them. They were too small. I am sorry. I had a dream that I went to Nintendo and they revealed to me that all this time, the real Pokemon designer was this Russian guy named Vladivir Pokemon designer. And I asked him why he named Jigglypuff that. And he said, is Puff is Jiggly. Are you jokester? And he crushed my head like an empty soda can. That wasn't a dream. It was a glimpse of your past life. Some girl in my class was talking about McDonald's shamrock shakes and this yeehaw dude in cowboy boots said they suck and then looked me in the eyes and said, what you're gonna do is go to Arby's and get yourself a mint chocolate chip shake. And he said it was such authority and certainty that I did so as soon as I got in my car. I see your concern, y'all, but this wasn't a man telling me what to do. This was a man who had important knowledge and shared it with me. He was aiding me on a quest I didn't even know I was on. You fool, that was Arby himself. Funny how his name is Neil Armstrong, when if you think about it, to Neil you don't Armstrong, you strong Neil, and the strong on the ground strong Neil. Thanks, John. You know, since this post is being read out loud by Seymour, I can make him say anything I want. Andy, make the background color boob 69. <gasps> you sneaky son of a bitch. Andy, you didn't do it right. They didn't trick you, right? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies the hyena took down the airplane. She did. If you went to a bar and the bartender was a mouse girl, you could ask for a drink and she would balance it on her head and say, For you, it's on the mouse. I love this. I need to see it in action now. You're in her DMs. I'm in his Sims world. We are not the same. 327. What did I do? 326. What's going on? 325. 324. 323. Just kicked this dude so hard his worms came out. Wait, I'm sorry, what? You know, it ain't too bad being locked in a magic tower. Free food, no rent, I get the read in peace, and the sun's never waking me up. Primarily because there's no windows, but you know, Made shit. When's this site coming out with a night mode? This site is being kept together with glitter glue and toothpicks. Stop making demands. God. Best road rage I've ever seen was this girl screaming out of her car window. I hope you don't fuck like you drive. I still think about that sometimes. That is an amazing burn. I am writing that down. I love recess duty. You overhear things that momentarily immerse you in a whole different world. Like, let's play ice cream chalk. She's the monster. This is how R.L. Stein comes up with ideas. Wizards thinking of clerics as hacks because we spent years of study learning the secrets of the universe. They cheated and got a god to do the magic for them. Clerics thinking of wizards as hacks because we spent years serving and cultivating a deeply personal relationship with a god. They copied down some cheat codes to make stuff blow up. You two should be upset at sorcerers. They got their powers because one of their parents fucked a dragon. And we don't make fun of the warlocks in this house, trust me. We, we, we don't. Target acquired. Dumbass mode engaged. This is baby girl. Holds up an adult man, probably over 100 years old, not even human. Yeah, it sounds right. Remember when the white women kept asking us to hashtag stuff? No, I don't. Could you elaborate? No. I love it when my silly words spread to my friends and then it spreads to their friends. Share my disease, you silly binguses. Don't click on that! Oh, phew, sorry, just be careful. Uh, m many people don't know that PDF stands for Poison Dart Frog. Wait, what? Like for dragons, reblog for dragons, reply for dragons, ignore for dragons. <laughs> dragons. If I was a mute, I would always be texting people with, I'm speechless, every time they tell me something, just to piss people off. Requesting permission to be a little silly, sir? Hmm. 
Granted. Personality is just a long-term commitment to the bit. It is it? I don't think it is. Descending from the sky at the break of dawn to inform the immortals I am here to talk to them about their car's extended warranty. Arising from the ground in the middle of the day to inform the mortals of their car's extended warrant. Flopping on the land in the middle of the night to inform them of their car's extended warranty. Throwing magic cart pillows at you because I don't have a car and it's one in the morning. I just think the world would be a better place if we would all take a little bit of time to examine how we personally interact with stories. I, for one, am a complex network of interconnected stories stored on a meat-based drive. That is quite possibly the most terrifying way of describing a human, but honestly, same. That's not scary. What's scary is that you're a ghost and a skeleton working together to pilot fleshy power armor made by your mother. You know, I expected to regret making this post for entirely different reasons than I actually regret making this post. Wow. Wishing all of you a very merry, I suddenly have the motivation and time to write a minimum 10k fic, please. Whoosh. Listen, okay, I, I, I just want to watch two buff giant women fight each other. Is that too much to ask? Tried to be one with nature by going camping, but mosquitoes clearly mistook me for a human buffet. Turns out my blood is like the filet and young of the insect world. Oh no. Being gay is more fun when you have someone to be gay with. I think most people are interpreting this as wanting a partner, but also being gay is way better when you have a bunch of gay friends. Just saying. Can you believe it? This thing just told a lie. And it looks very sorry that it did. I will cuddle and protect. Look at its face. No one's gonna throw you through a shredder. No one. I must confess, I absolutely adore it when my favorite TV show ends on a nail-biting cliffhanger leaving me with sleepless nights, conspiracy theories, and a desperate need for closure. Thank you, writers, for adding a dash of existential torment to my entertainment. Great! I'm silly only on my terms. Sure, I'll call myself a silly goose, but you say the same about me a second later? Ho 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 ho! A real bungle on your parts. My enemies tremble at my feet, and you will do the same. Good day! Aside from bees and butterflies, bats are also one of the most important pollinators on the planet, especially in tropical and desert regions. Oh, lost in the sauce. My friend said, modern AU Odyssey, where it's just a fucked up road trip, and I haven't stopped thinking of it since. I'm sorry. Did you mean... Final Fantasy XV? Credit to the original artist is not credit to the original artist. Payment to the cashier, I say as I haul a TV out the door of the Walmart. Do you get it? My only tactic for playing Pokemon is to be 20 levels higher than the opponent. Hey, all problems are a nail if your hammer's big enough. If you ship two professors, is it a scholarship? Get out. Oh, he wants a PhD. I'm forgetting this thing in English again and Google isn't helping. I can help try and describe it. Dirt noodle. Break dances when touched and or exposed to sunlight. Uh, uh, worm? Oh, worm! Oh my god, this website. At the end of the day, I'm just a little guy. I'm a little guy at the beginning of the day also, so be nice. There's been a British voice in my head saying, bit sad, isn't it? The past week. Andy, are you sneaking up behind people again? Mexicans will look at perfectly good piece of fruit and just douse it in sauces and seasonings, and they're so right. White people just don't season their fruit. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. Ignite it is, then. How to respond to anon hate. One, look at the anon hate. Two, send anonymous ask to yourself using anon. Three, make it exactly the same as the anon hate, except use a homestuck troll typing quirk. It doesn't matter which one. Respond to the fake Anon A by roasting them for impersonating a Homestuck troll. The real Anon now has a choice. They can come off Anon and prove that you changed their message. Or they can wallow in silence, knowing that they have failed to bother you. You win either way. I might write that one down. The craziest thing about being alive is that you have to live with other people's interpretations of you. Ugh. 
Behold, Sergeant Chesty the 13th, the official mascot of the U.S. Marine Corps, right, stares down his successor, recruit Chesty, left, during training at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., 2013. Death feel when a dog outrages you by default. Wow. Mufasa's death seat made me cry again. Aw, Abby, he's not a real horse, it's a cartoon. D d horse? Horse? But in my defense, I've never seen it. It's called The Lion King, Randy. How may I fallen into a pit of pasta sauce? I can't find my way out. Don't bother me, I'm doing hot girl shit. He's lying motionless on my bed with three separate ice packs on top of me and my one fan blasting straight at my face. Notice, you now have the status of NAPM Seymour video. Take this as you will. Now you guys know how I feel every day. Stop the fucking car. You get there and all the pretty boys look up from drinking from the reservoir and gallop away like gazelle. That needs to be a picture, now. People who try to remind you of your favorite character's horrible actions make me laugh. Let's not forget they did this and that. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten. I'm just too busy putting them in a cute outfit. This is Vegeta fans. Totally Vegeta fans. Probably bad RPG idea. Cast cure wounds on our economic system. Hold on. You might need to change your URL on that one. Don't mind me, I'm just making the most dangerous bridges known to mankind in order to save a few dollars. Now see, this is why we need to fix the economy in the last post. Why are blondes so pretty? They're like orange cats, but people. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm stammering in ginger right now. Literally the orange haired person. I. Andy, hold me back. Hold me back. I, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Hold me back! Team Fortress 2 implies the existence of an unseen mysterious Team Fortress 1. I don't know what the notes are on about. Stay safe out there. It's called Team Fortress 2 because it's too bad there's not a first one. There are two teams and they build a fortress. Hope this helps. It's called that because me and my dad both play it and we are two people. Wow. Oh boy, it's summer! I get to eat ice cream and go stargazing and go camping and- uh, uh oh my ice cream melted. I monologued too long. <laughs> Joe Taro invites Kakuin over one day. He turns to him in the doorway and says, I have to show you something. Kakuin is nervous. They go over to Joe Taro's room. Joe Taro locks the door. Joe Taro pulls out a chair and sits at his computer. Kakuin is sweating bullets. Jotaro opens up Twitter and logs into Drill and makes a tweet. Kakuin has never been more unprepared in his life. That truly is the most bizarre adventure. Oh, you're invincible, you say? Easily vinces you. Oh, you're unlovable, you say? Easily loves you. Aww. This might come as a shock to some of you, but saying I'm not informed enough on this particular topic to have an opinion is about a hundred times more respectable than being misinformed. I know in school they often teach us that I don't know is the worst possible answer and that you are better off making your best guess than admitting ignorance. But that's because the educational system is a dumpster fire and this is a habit that it pays to unlearn. Just saying. When my dad moved away from home, he needed a place to live. So he went to look at this one potential apartment. The only questions the landlady asked him were where he was born and when. When my dad told him, the landlady pulled out this huge astrology chart book. She looked at it for a long time in silence and finally said, Acceptable. This is funny and awful at the same time. Imagine not getting the apartment because you are a Pisces born in Chicago. Writing prompt. There's a forest that people say resembles the ocean. A forest where the land slopes endlessly deeper, but the top of the trees do not. Animals, plant life. They're said to get stranger the further in one goes. Writing prompts here is just describing Tumblr and gift wrap. Pirate bard who casts magic by singing sea shanties. Oh my god, I need it. Why is it when you go to the store, you find rows and shelves of feminine hair care, but for men, it's like half a shelf of hygiene in general. All men hygiene products are the same thing, like 15 in 1 shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, hair gel, motor oil, gasoline, pen, ink, dish soap, etc. It's the basic life necessities. Like, wh why? Why? Rest in peace, little polyglot dictionary. You sure had a lot of words for Satan in you. No man has all five. A legitimate heir, a trusted advisor, loyal vassals, happy citizens, and content nobles. So true. Hmm. 
Call that a skill issue. I have all five. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but my advisor... Ah, see? As long as the label on the box remains covered, the pizza is both delivery and DiGiorno. Schrodinger's pizza. You've both been tricked. It's Red Baron pizza. You know, if you disassociate hard enough, you can eavesdrops on conversations you're a part of. I don't remember making this post. You made the claim and then you proved it. Wow. I have something extremely important to say. My aunt's dog has a paw print on his paw. The small little gasp I let out is heard universally when you view this picture. It's so true. Oh my god. Gallade is a white bipedal bishonen like a Pokemon. Hey! What the fuck? Twinkmon. No, that's the Digimon version. Hypothetically, if I were to put the little green dude from Cut the Rope in a claw machine, how much money would y'all spend to try to get him out to be your little buddy? Zero, because I can't possibly afford to feed him. He wants candy cut on a rope in a really weird contraption. Hey, buddy, down here? You can control my gay ass using WASD or the arrow keys. I am so goddamn high right now, I legit pressed the WASD keys to see if Mr. Kind of a Big Deal here would do a gay little dance for me or something. Hang on, I'll do it for you. Da, 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 da. Behold, my new favorite reaction image. Yikes. Uh, ball pit, but it's just these. I dive in head first, cutting through like butter. I am never seen again. Round blue stones, take me home to the pit where I belong. I think as a society, we should go back to designing furniture with little feet. It would heal us. Please look me in the eye and tell me this doesn't spark joy. We really should domesticate raccoons. They're already interacting with our garbage and whatnot. I want to get home and hear skittering noises and bandit the pet raccoon runs at me excited that I'm home and I feed him leftovers like they're a dog but instead of them just eating it they, they go to a sink and they wash it like raccoons do and eat it and then return to me with adorable expression on their face and the cycle continues. <clears throat> People, we need this. Also crows because crows are also smart. They use tools. Today I learned Yankee Doodle was written by the British to mock Americans. Doodle is thought to come from the germ dodo, meaning fool or simpleton, and macaroni, a flamboyantly stylish type of dress, painting the Yankees as morons who thought placing a feather in one's cap made them a dandy. So you're telling me that stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni would be like saying wrote a G on his belt and called it Gucci. That, that's a, a pretty good analogy, actually. U.S. moron came to town hunting for some Gucci, wrote a G up on his belt and his bitch called it Gucci. <laughs> that's good, I like that. I just bought a slow cooker. I might have laughed way harder at this than I should have. Well, look at him in his little hat. The fact humans can't eat grass to survive in wilderness is a failure of evolution. Are you out there eating grass and trying to justify it again? Horse and sticks took over when I wrote that post. I'm sorry. <clears throat> May I have your attention, please? Thank you. That is all. Thank you, honey. Hmm. Huh. That expression. That's the expression of someone who's gay as hell. Well, something along those lines, right? Happy Pride Month, you freaks. Thank you, Sans Undertale. Minecraft YouTube fans will make the most raw, most perfect piece of art and writing you've ever seen. And you look at the context and it's about a Minecraft gamer called Blimbo Blorbo. I mean, yes, that sounds right. Hey, I made it into a PMC more video. I don't know if I should be worried or uh, happy emotion. It, it help? And you're in one again, you weird little hamster. Who here believes in fam? Pyres, Dacula, Dacula, Dacula. Hey, is it just me or did your profile picture become purple? Purple. Imagine you getting a job at GameStop and your manager is the type of guy to chuck a whole monster energy drink and then say, yeah, level up. And she does that every day. This is oddly specific. Are you okay? I am fantastic. Thanks for asking. So my friend asked me to pretend to be her boyfriend because her parents are homophobic AF, but they ended up hating me so much that they were glad when she said she was gay. 
task failed successfully. Wow, congrats on being so awful, boyfriend. You destroyed homophobia. The more I learn about the British government, the more it sounds like the setting for a generic young adult dystopia. What the hell is a shadow cabinet? Are they not evil? There's something called a chief whip? A lord commissioner of the great seal? Does he keep the dark one locked away? It, how is this real? Andy, can you confirm or deny these allegations? I don't have any talent. I like to look at grass and I don't have any other hobbies. When people ask me how I'm doing, I ignore the question. Thank you, user 717-262672838891892829299973. Normalize flopping. It's okay to fail, baby. Sexy even. The amount of people saying, I thought you meant flopping on the ground. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Target audience. Everybody do the flop! You're on Tumblr a lot. This is my house. Normalize blocking people for making you uncomfy. Normalize restricting people on Instagram for being weird. Normalize throwing tea into a harbor. <gasps> I'm so sorry I didn't realize you made the post. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's too late. You insulted the tea. Andy, throw them in the kettle. Fuck, what was the name of that monkey from Curious George again? Hey, uh, I think you'd answered that in the question. Maybe. Yeah, we made your boyfriend the outro to a PMC more video. Yeah, he, he's telling Andy to end the video and everything. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Andy, quick, please stop. End this. End this, please.